come to the Emperor Zone, today we're going to be talking about stocking density. You know, I've gotten a lot of text messages, a lot of mail asking me to talk about stocking density and how to calculate how much fish will fit into a specific pond of yours. So today I'm going to be talking about everything about stocking density and what to do when you have your pond and the amount of fishes to put there to have a healthy yeah, before ecosystem. We yeah before we before we go on with the topic of today if you have not subscribed you've not liked you've not shared this video this is the right time to do that take a minute hit the subscribe button hit the like button and share it and leave a comment so i do more video content you want to hear and things you would like to learn so before that further delay let's jump into it today we're going to be talking about stocking density Stocking density is one of the most important parts of fish business and if you don't know how to stock your fishes, you don't know how much fishes will fit into a particular pond size, you're going to have a whole lot of problems. You're going to have serious issues because if your fishes are too much in a pond, you're going to suffer a whole lot of crisis. If you don't know how to stock your fish, you're going to have a whole lot of problems. Some of them are going to be stunted growths cannibalism is going to be very high cannibalism here means your fishes the big ones will have to eat the small ones that is how it is when there is no space you know dissolve oxygen your fishes are going to lack a whole lot of oxygen so they're going to start dying over time and disease will break out all for one cause of wrong stocking density all for one cause of packing a whole lot of fishes in a small pond you know so a lot of people have seen people who take as much as five thousand fish and put in a pond that is like 10 that is like 10 feet by 10 feet uh, big pond you know that is that is an atrocity that is that is an abnormality because if you stock so much number of fishes like that in a small space they are going to have a whole lot of issues and you're going to run at loss you know one of them is also going to be that your water is going to go bad fast what i mean bad is going to lose its oxygen level and it's going to go dirty fast because as they are much there they struggle for everything some actually go ahead as vomiting what you've given to them because they don't have a lot of space to swim and digest their food so your water is going to go bad you're going to not start spending money on fuel or electricity whatever the case may be and that is going to eat into your overhead it's going to eat into your finance going to eat into your profit you're expecting at the end of the day so stocking density like i've stated before can be defined as the amount of fishes that fit into a specific space of a pond you know so if your fishes are posts or fingerlings for example there's an amount they are supposed to be that can fit into a particular uh, size of a pond now if you have a seven by seven pond and your fishes are post fingerlings you can fix as much as 5,000 or 10,000 in that place it's not going to have an issue but if your fishes are but if your fishes are like jumbo or they are going to like 500 grams already you know they are growing up already 5,000 cannot fit into a 7 by 7 pond you know it's going to be very tight you know they are going to start showing irritation and start showing a whole lot of signs for you to know that that is unhealthy you know so that is how it is so you just have to know the stocking density of a pond and it's as important as every other knowledge that you should know i've stated a whole lot of things on this channel so go back and check previous videos of how to begin how to get finance how to stock and a whole lot of that so today stocking density is one of the most important things i've seen farmers suffer from so that is where the inspiration of this video has come from and all your messages and mail you've sent in the comment section and all of that this is the video for you so stay tuned and i'm going to be talking and i'm going to tell you next about how to stock how to stock your, your fishes to, so stocking your fishes now has to do with mathematics all over again i know a whole lot of you don't like mathematics and it's so hard you feel but we don't have to use maths again to do this but come on that is how it is that's why you studied maths in school in the right way anyway so maths it's always important in your calculation an example of this is stocking density so to get the amount of fishes that will fit any size of pond you have what you do first step you do you get your sides of your pond now we're going to be using a case study of seven feet by seven feet by four feet depth pond so now what you do you take seven times seven seven times seven you get 49 so when you have that figure you keep it by the wayside then so it is assumed that five fish in a four feet square shape that is how it's calculated times 49 so how that is done is it becomes 5.4 
times 49. 49 years standing for the 7 times 7, which is your actual pound size. So 7 times 7, which is 49. Then you multiply by 5.4. You should be getting the figure of 263 thereabouts. So that is the exact number of fishes that we stay in that pond in a healthy state. You know, but what we do sometimes is after getting that figure, you can maybe stretch it a bit. You know, because the, 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 the idea also is that not all of them will grow well. So you stretch it a bit, like you may add as much as 100 or 50 on top of that. You know to stretch it but don't take it to 200 on top of that it will be a problem and sometimes you also see it when your fishes are stressed or they are overpacked in a pond you see the stress in them except you are not an observant farmer so what that is you so what that is you multiply like that which is the 5.4 times 49 5.4 now is the amount of fish in the in the in the, in the square feet shape times the amount of your pond which is 49 in the case of 7 by 7 if you have a 10 by 10 pond so you do 10 times 10 times you do 10 times 10 you get the figure times 5.4 do you understand so the amount you get you can add a 50 you can add 50 number of fishes to eat extra to stretch it or 70 to stretch it that is the amount of fish so you do this consecutively you know to know but sometimes what you do is that amount always comes out in the total amount of fish that can grow to the maximum level of fishes in that pond when they get to the one kg size and above so it's not always particular to the fingerlings that okay this is the amount of fingerlings that can stay the fingerlings can always stay as much as they like because they are small you know but when you do that calculation it's always for the long stage like okay this pond can only take maybe the 260 or the 280 till maturity so always get that that's the idea till maturity that's when they can always stay there so guys this is the end of the show don't forget to like subscribe don't forget to leave a comment don't forget to leave a mail for me and ask any of the questions you want to know and things you want me to talk about more so without further ado take care and have a nice day bye